Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Future Shop YouTube channel. G-Man here alongside Wristlock Rovers, the brand new Future Shop tag team. And to my right, it is the lovely Blossom Twins. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to go over Future Shop 56. Future Shop 56 was last month of course, and last month... You guys were here, you? you guys were here. I'm going to come back to you guys very soon. But you, Ronaldo, you were here. You probably were Shop 56. That's correct, you were here. Now there was a, a, a Future Shop tag team title going on. So talk us through what happened in that tag team title going on. Well, at the last show, as you said, there was a tag gauntlet. I thought to myself, you know, not getting myself in the title picture these days, so I thought, I'll go around. I thought to myself, what other belts can I go for? And then it dawned on me, Tag Team Championship. So I, for that, I needed to get myself a tag partner. Now, the last few shows before Future Shop 56, I've been tagging with, uh, with a guy. I've come to know him, come to like him a lot. He's into his Alan Partridge, but most importantly, he's into his football. Where is it? It's this guy right here. Oh, there it is! David Lee, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't look. I'm good. 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 <clears throat> Now, how did, how did Reynaldo come about contacting you through, through this tag, tag team? Because, you've been, like I said, you've been tag team partners before, so uh, tonight, you're we, tagging alone for the belts. That's right, that's right. Yeah, we, just, we just felt that a, a slight um, solidification was needed to, uh, to help drive us, drive us to the top. You know, it's, uh, it's a long season and we're going to play you know, one game at a time and we're going to see, see how far we can go. Lovely. Are you going to be bringing Back to balls with you tonight. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Um, uh, right here. Um, got a lot of balls. This tag team. Got a lot of balls. It's one of the uh, one of the key selling points, you might say, of wrist lock rovers. Will it go the 90 minute distance? Um, yeah. Well, you know that's that's what we trade for. Um, obviously, if, if, it, if for some reason it goes less than 90 minutes, then, um, that's going to happen. It's a broad if it if, if it uh, if it goes if it goes less than that's that's fine. But we've you know we've got the stamina. We can go the full 90 minutes. Yeah, no danger of cramp with us. Dangerous Damon Lee there. No danger today. Okay, let's go pan over here. And I think we want in on that action, Dima. Do you? We want in on the tag title. Do you? Tag team. You're a tag team. But tonight, tonight, it's a little bit different. A little bit. Different. Which one of you is Holly? And which one of you? You! It's you! Holly. You tonight! Yes. Yes, it's so hard to tell Holly. Oh, you've got to pick out some of the differences. And look what we've done between you today, look. Honestly, it's the eyes. Referee, if you're watching this, it's the eyes. It's the eyes that's going to separate. Exactly. <laughs> so, tonight, mm -hmm. you're going one on one with the Swedish fight machine. Jenny Chardin. Yes. She's the former former pro wrestling champion. So we can get Nina Bay Hughes back too. So we can keep an eye on her. Yeah? Yes. I have a few things up my sleeve, you know. A little bit. She's a tough company, so she knows the stuff. But she doesn't have any sleeves. Yeah. Well, well. Metaphorically speaking, so, so, <laughs> so, 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 so she can borrow my jacket. Right, that's fine, that's fine. I just wanted to, you know. Yeah, that, that's fine. So, you two, you've been stateside quite recently, so what is there to report from overseas that you can bring back to Future Shop? Overseas? Well, we've been training hard with them. Um, oh, we do with Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, we have been training with them, and it's been going really, really well. Yeah, who's um, the trainer then? Rick Rogers. Rick Rogers. Rick Rogers. Rick Rogers. Look him up on YouTube, you have to watch, watch Rick Rogers. <laughs> So we've been learning a lot. So yeah. even though Jenny is, like Holly said, a tough cookie, I yeah. think we will definitely be surprising a lot of people and show that we can go. And, you know, we can wrestle as good as, as she can and like see what happens. So yeah, but we're, I'm, I'm ready. I'm prepared. You ready? I'm prepared. Yeah. You need sleeves. <laughs> you need <Apparently>. sleeves. Yes. <laughs> David's got it. So tonight, future shot 57. I'm going to go down the car. So. First match tonight is the Nordic Warrior going one on one with the returning Bubblegum. 
Going on over to Damon Lee. Minus the danger. <coughs> I mean, like, not only for he's got the, uh, the key size advantage there, hasn't he? He's, uh, he's a big lad. You know, he's no stranger to a hot day. And, um, <coughs> but you can, it's, it's clear to see that Bubblegum is uh, going to have the speed advantage. You know, he's, he's very quick, that lad. There's a lot of kicks. And, um, in the kicks? Oh, oh yeah, very in the yeah. yeah, They're not, not, not contracted, those kicks. Scotland's are completely independent. Um, so it'll be an interesting bounce, I would say. So, who do you think's going to win? Um, if you're a betting man? If I was a betting man, which, you know, I'm not, because obviously the rules of the league didn't get me involved in, in gambling. Um, but if I was, I'd probably say the bubble come up at the edge of the there's one for Bubblegum, ladies and gentlemen. Reynaldo, who do you think's going to win? Uh, I'd have to uh, agree with your teammate now. Nordic Warrior, I've been in the ring with him many times. Black and hurt him. Um, he's done knees on damage in the past, in various ways. But I often think, you know, he sometimes has a fur ball in his mouth from uh, that jacket. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so, very warm, by the way. I've already done that show. It's warm. It's a, it, it looks warm. It looks like it's not that you get from Prime Market. Mm -hmm. It looks authentic, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that was after yeah. I wore it, so. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Um, I'd say Nordic Warrior definitely has the power, the size, the strength advantage, uh, but other guns wily. It's a wily veteran. Uh, I'd say, I, I'd, I'd concur with uh, team teammate here. I think one for bubblegum there, to pull one out of the bag. Two for bubblegum there, ladies and gentlemen. Now over to Blossoms. Who do you think's going to win? I think, I think, I think we would have to agree with them. Um, we've Both seen what, yeah, we've seen what bubblegum can do, and we've often been the underdog too, so I definitely think we're going to be the underdog. And he has experience on his side too. But I think everyone's forgetting here the combustible element in the Nordic Warriors corner, of course, will be that piece of garbage, Chris Egan. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> Now what do you think? Is he is he allowed out of the technical area? What is in prison? I guess you call it that, uh, but there's a you're generally a white technical area that yeah. manages on. Yeah, we manage the stands. Yeah, yeah. They can't cross that's our understanding of it anyway. We could, have, we could have the wrong if, if he crosses that line, will he be sent off? Will he be sent to the stands? You're gonna have to speak to the referees on that. Yeah, right. like does it? It's gonna depend on the referees, isn't it? So that does, does throw a spanner in the work, so to speak, of our predictions yeah. there. Well, of course, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, moving on is the, the next match, which will be yourself going against Jenny. I'm not going to ask you who's going to win, because I'm sure... Molly, of course! Yeah. And of course, you have enough confidence, confidence in your sister. Molly, no doubt about it. There you go. Who thinks you going to win? Should we fight machine? Can you shut in? I, I, I'm, I'm obviously going to uh, do it with Holly, um, primarily because of the training that she had early on. Um, she was trained by, uh, oh, me. Um, so there you go. I have to say that, that, you know, that, that gave her an excellent foundation, and um, with that sort of training, you can, you can go on and you can be anyone. So. Raymond. Very close to call. Uh, I would have to give, just purely on what you said there about the foundation stones that you gave Holly, I would probably have to lean towards yourself. I, I, I like you, I like you a lot. Um, very partial to the blossoms. Uh, I think the time you spent away makes you a bit of a bit of a wild card. No one's no one's going to know the tricks that you've got up your uh, pretend sleeves. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I I'm taking nothing away from Jenny because she can definitely get it uh, running the ring. Um, it's going to be a close one, but I think you'll shave it in the end. Uh, the full time whistle. I think you'll just you'll just nip it by by a pinfall. Next up on the card, ladies and gentlemen, is Rislop Rovers versus The Models. Start over here with the Blossoms. It's gotta be the Rislop Rovers. I mean, we've actually been in the ring before with The Models, and they can, mm, I don't know, they can get a little up, up, up to misty, but that can look skill nice. and yeah. talent and the fact that this man did, you know, give us our foundation, that's no doubt about it. They, they can pull it out of the bag. Is there any point in me asking you? Well, I'd like to say that we've got a, you know, we've got a good chance, obviously, the model to the established team. Mm -hmm. um, but both myself and Ray have got uh, bags and bags of experience in our own right. So hopefully, bags, 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 bags
Um, what's the result going to be when the final whistle blows on that match? I, I'm probably, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's going to be Bristol one. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, again, everyone's, everyone's forgetting the managers in these matches. The Ingo Manly Price is going to be in their corner. Not your corner, of course. Well, maybe, maybe we could be, you know, do something about that. Maybe far, yeah. far eye, and, uh, from, from, the, from watching from the wings, we'll keep our eye on yeah. Honorary whites, so we couldn't, couldn't think hey, of better. Hey, better. Hey. There you have it. We've got, a, we've got a thing going on here, haven't we, ladies and gentlemen? Right. Next is the traditional Future Shot eight-man tag team match. Action, action, action. The Blackpool Bronze and Health and Safety versus Two Dimension and the team, Sam Bailey and Sean Daniels. Now let's, let's just recap slightly. Let's go, let's, let's go back to 56. Let's go back to 56. During that tag team gauntlet, Ring of Horror were reigning supreme. As Bailey and Daniels were making their way to the ring, Chris Egan come from behind and nailed Sean Daniels. Sean Daniels is out. Sam Bailey, on his own, defeated quite a few teams and he could have been the Future Shock Tag Team Champions on his own. Possibly. It's a good effort. It's a good effort. So, traditional Future Shock 8 man rules. Let's have some thoughts. Did he help? Yeah, right. I mean, obviously, obviously, with the comments there, I mean, like, you know, Sam's the uh, probably the most experienced one at that entire match, so I you would, would like to think that it'll be a bit of a general and be able to sort of, uh, you know, lead the way in that sense. But having been in the ring, uh, you know, several times with the, like the, the Blondes, for example, I, I know what sort of uh, tactics they use. Um, I know that they sometimes don't always uh, play by the rules, and uh, that's something that you possibly got to take into account in these this sort of circumstance. So I think the blondes and health and safety might take that and the other tactics that they use. That's just the PA system ladies and gentlemen, it's just warming up for, for tonight, so does it smell like the PA system? What a pack! What have they ever smelled? Raymond, Reynaldo, Reynaldo, Raymond. Rosie Raymond. Sunday games. So it is a Sunday. Yes, of course. Well, it is a. This is going to be a close one again. Uh, I'd like to to give it to to Sam. You know, I play another ball game with him. I play dodgeball with him. So dodgeball. Good friends with him. Yeah. Uh, he's he's been around a long time. I know he can get it done in the ring. Uh, you know, two dimension. They're quite an exciting young team. Their entrance music. I love their entrance music. Yeah, it gets people up, doesn't it? Uh, and Daniels, Daniels is looking good as well, apart from that injury he took at the end of the evening uh, last month. Blondes, we've been in the ring with a couple of times. They're, they're a very established team. They know what they're doing in there. Maybe not to everybody's liking, but they do uh, know how to get it done. Health and safety, they're crafty, very crafty. They've always got, they've always got something going on. They've got, they've got loopholes, haven't they? Loophole, legal loopholes, yeah. don't like that. Mm. You know, and they've got the hard hat. Are they YMCA or something? Or is it the council? I don't know who they work for. Because uh, I like him, I'm going to go for the notorious BAD and two dimension. I think they'll, they'll pull it out of the bag. So I'm unfortunately going to disagree with it. Twins! <laughs> See, we are as familiar with both, like, all those um, as yeah. as tag teams. But from their comments, and the other team might have a slight advantage as far as the um, platform one, the yeah. health and safety with their um, craftiness. But we like to think Sam Bailey, just because yes. like, we know you want Sam Bailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so we'd probably say take them to the Lovely. All right, the next match is a singles match scheduled for one fall, and it is Spot versus Mike Massa. <laughs> Mad match, I don't, I don't, I don't know what he did about this gentleman. I understand it's his debut. Yeah. But he's, he's quite, a, quite a large fellow, isn't he? Yes, he is. Quite an imposing figure. I think he's got say. a beard. <coughs> a beard? I think he's got a beard. Ah, uh, I don't know. Chuck Norris hides another fist in his beard, so. Yeah, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, quite, I know Sparks quite well. Um, you know, he's, he's got, a lot of, got a lot of moves. Um, 
I would say up his sleeve, but I'm, I'm aware he also doesn't have sleeves. Mm. But um, so that's going to be a difficult one to call, obviously. I know Spats, I know what he can do. I don't really know about this Mark Master. He's a bit of a unknown quantity, so I'm going to have to enter with Spats just on that, on that basis. Fair enough. Raymond? Yeah, I agree again. Spats might be small, but he's got a heart of a lion, and I know he's been around a while and he can get it done in that group. Uh, Mark Master is an unknown quantity. Uh, not. Sparks won't take him lightly, uh, I know that for a fact, but just because I know Sparks and I know what he's capable of, he can pull it out. I'm going to go with my first Sparks. Sparks, those two for Sparks. Maybe. Maybe four. Four for Sparks. Four now, there you have it. Four now. Four now. Whitewash. There you go. And now, of course, the main event of the evening Future Shock Heavyweight Champion. Jack Gallagher teams up with Zach Diamond Gibson to go one on one with former champion Dave Brain and the Future Shock 2011 Trophy Tournament winner, the pound for pound best British wrestler in British wrestling today, the Juice CJ Banks. We'll go this way first. Yeah, that's three we, cool. we started training with Jack Gallagher and we have seen him change and work so, so, so hard for the past few years. And he's just come on like leaps and bounds and the effort, the passion, the dedication that he has put into learning his craft, I definitely, we're on his team. And we've, just purely because of that, I have to say, yeah, Gentlemen, <coughs> now I know, I know all the gentlemen reasonably well. Uh, you've had you've had battles with Dave Brain in the past. WWE <laughs> champion versus FSW champion last year. Mm -hmm. And again, it's one of those ones where if it was if it was all plain sailing right down the middle, then I'd like to think that Zach and Jack have uh, got the, the skills to pay the bills, you might say, um, to sort of bring on, bring on the bacon and uh, take on the win. Um, but I also know um, Mr Banks quite well. Um, in the past I've wrestled him a couple of times. And again, it's, it's, it's a tactical on that one. So it could, could go either way. Yeah. If it's all plain sailing, I'd like to name Zach and Jack. And, uh, I'll take on. There you are. And finally, I think we do more again. This is why he's my tag partner. Yeah. Uh, been in the ring with CJ. He uh, knocked me out of the first round of the cup, unfortunately. Uh, so I know he's, uh, he's capable in there. Not got a lot of time for that ring uh, since what he did to me a while back. Took the belt off me in the circumstances he did. No respect for him. However, I know by hook or by crook, he tries to find a way to remain victorious at the end of the night. Again, not to everyone's liking, uh, but level playing field, Zach and Jack all the way. I've seen them really, really skillful, great with the technical, great. Unbelievable techers. Unbelievable, Unbelievable techers. Little techers. scenes here. Uh, Shot 57. So I reckon, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Zach and Jack on that one, but I'll be close. I'll be close. And ladies and gentlemen, just talked about Future Shot 56, that's available on DVD. There. You can buy it at futureshockwrestling.co.uk. Now then, DDL, are you on any form of social media outlets out there that you would like to plug into that camera there or this camera here and tell the folks at home how to follow you or if you want to like a group associated with yourself? Let it loose. Um, I don't know much about the liking of pages and all that caper, but I am on Twitter, so follow me, at Damon Lee. <laughs> and that's all you need to know. Hopefully, if we've got a nice bit of editing going on, they might even put that up on screen. <laughs> if they've not got that up on screen, I'm going to open that. So hopefully that's, that's going, to, uh, going to be what happens. Are you on any social media network outlets? I am. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Reynaldo9. Follow me just on Twitter, not in real life. So it could be a bit creepy, but uh, I'd love to hear from you on Twitter. Uh, 
magic appearing on the screen now. Wow! Wow, look at that graphic. Isn't it great? If there, there, is, if there is no graphic it's here, it's going to be a it's bit gone. weird that we're looking at my uh, yeah. package. He was pointing at it. But, you know, <laughs> he's, uh, everything has its benefits, so of course. And uh, the two girls I like to follow, twins! Are you on Twitter? Are you on we Facebook? Are. We are on Twitter. You can follow us at The Blossom Twins, and you can follow us on Facebook and see our links and speaks and cupcakes and all the things that we're doing. And um, Team Blossom. That's Team Blossom. No, at the Blossom Twins. Facebook is slash Team Blossom. Slash Team Blossom. And Twitter is? At the Blossom Twins. At the Blossom Twins, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for here in the Future Shop 57 presentation. We'll see you next time. <laughs>